Hello, I'm Gene Cox and this is Snapshot. Today we're at Henricus Historical Park, which is more or less an expansion of Jamestown right here in Chesterfield County. There's a lot of neat stuff here, a good place to go, to bring the kids, the family, to walk around. You could even bring your dog. John Pagano is the historical site supervisor here at Henricus. This is a pretty neat place. What, uh, what do you like best about it, John? I like our environment. I like the fact that we're um, in such a pretty place. People get to come out here, uh, see history, uh, be in a place where they can also, in addition to history, uh, take nature trails, go for a walk, uh, take a look at the river. Uh, it's all the scenic modern and all the scenic history. This place gives names like Thomas Dale meaning. Thomas Dale, yeah. So Thomas Dale is the man who is going to come to Virginia in 1611, uh, fix Virginia, expand Virginia, uh, then go back to England with uh, John Rolfe and Pocahontas and show off his success. And she died shortly after at 22. She is. She is going to uh, She's gonna die in uh, 1617, and her husband, John Rolfe, will die in 1622. All right, there is a fort here. Mm -hmm. Now, this, uh, just because they had a nice location high on the bluffs, it wasn't safe. It was not safe. Um, Sir Thomas Dale told Powhatan that he was going to come here. Uh, Powhatan did not give his authorization for that. Uh, so the warriors came after Sir Thomas Dale. Uh, he was able to build the fort, defend the place, and er eventually erect Henricus. All right, in addition to all of the historic things you mm -hmm. can see here, you've also got a trail that's four or five miles long if people like to walk or ride a bicycle. That's correct, yeah. If you want to walk it, run it, bike it, uh, we see pretty much an equal amount of people from each of those groups. And because of the heavy uh, vegetation around here, it's really not that hot in the summer, is it? It's all right. We have a lot of shade. <laughs> we have a shade. We have a lot more shade than they would have had 400 years ago. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, uh, once in a while we get the breeze come through here, but uh, it's definitely a, a better place than it would have been 400 years ago. Enrica's Historical Park is open six days a week to the public. Special tours can be arranged. For Snapshot, I'm Gene Cox.